Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, I want to thank you, all of you that uh, you take part in this video, in this meeting. And uh, today I want to introduce you a bit uh, to the world of Google Frameworks, especially to the graphics library called Skia. Uh, this presentation consists from two parts, a little theory first and general information about this library, uh, several notes about uh, how to build uh, uh, Skia. And after this, we will go to the Visual Studio and look some examples like uh, first uh, skia based application uh, drawing of simple shapes text rendering uh, loading and drawing bitmaps canvas transformation and the last uh, we will have several examples with objects blending and sh shaders unfortunately skia uh, doesn't have support for injecting custom shader today uh, but in order to discussions on google groups uh, they we are going uh, they are going to add them soon. So we will look only already created shaders. Um, so a few words about Skia. Uh, Skia is a 2D graphics library uh, that provides a common API across a variety of platforms like uh, Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, WebGL, Chrome OS, and etc. So this library also supports lots of backends for Canvas, like uh, Rasterize it, that will work on CPU only, and GPU based, like uh, OpenGL, DirectX, Angle. Angle is also uh, Google backend that uh, use OpenGL, but in high level. Yeah, uh, Skia is open source product and uh, has free BSD license that allows us to use in our work and in our projects. Uh, there are also several uh, useful links like source tree, issue tracker, discussion forum, documentations and Fiddle. Fiddle is a site where you can uh, test your code online. And I really try to use Skia Discuss Google group to find answer on my questions, but Stack Overflow is still the best solution finder, so I prefer to use Stack Overflow. Um, now we know general information about Skia, so let's try to build it on Windows. Uh, here we have two approaches of building process. The first one is uh, using official documentation that leads to your tears uh, because of unresolved dependencies, scripts, fails, and built issues. Uh, so I recommend and prefer a second approach um, is installing Python 2.7 because uh, all scripts uh, are wrote on second version of Python. We also need to download the pod tools. It's uh, Google tools and uh, Skia. It's to both both of them are Git repo, so we need a Git Git too. We also need add Python 2.7 and depot tools to our pass, uh, Windows pass. And uh, we now we can build Skia and uh, Google use GN Ninja uh, build system. So we need to run CMD in Skia folder, uh, run tools, git sync depths, a Python script to download all uh, third party libraries like um, libgpeg, libpng, webp, and so on. So we need, now we need to generate an Ninja files and call buildgen uh, exe with this huge list of parameters. Uh, because Windows uh, haven't included uh, libpng, libvp libraries, so we need to build in from third party and run in the command to build our Skia DLL and library. So uh, I hope that building on Linux will be much easier since most of arguments are forcing to build uh, libraries uh, like libgpeg 
that already exist in most Linux distributives, so we can avoid most of these functions or most of these parameters in building. Um, so now we have built SCADLL and we can start to develop our first application. Any question for this stage? Nice. Okay, uh, let's start with after generated simple class diagram um, to have general knowledge about architecture in our application. So here we have application class. Uh, class this class is in charge of uh, high level application stuff like uh, painting, redirecting messages from platform window drawing layers and etc. We can look at some code here. Uh, we create window or another layers and so on. Nothing specific. Should I increase? I will increase here. Nothing specific here. Uh, second class is I platform window and platform window. It's um, class that is in charge of window message loop and properties like uh, title, visibility, resizing, and so on. So now we can look at this code. Modifiers is key. Our VND proc function. Yeah. So we constructor, we initialize a window and create window. We also have show, draw function, resize, invalidate, and other helper functions. Uh, this application runs on Windows only, at least for now. Uh, but with this architecture, we can add uh, other platform window on Mac, on Linux, anywhere. OK. So. Uh, as I mentioned above, uh, Skia could use different canvas type uh, to render like CPU-based and GPU-based. Uh, to see difference be between implementation and performance, I prepared a raster background that uh, use CPU only and OpenGL background that will use uh, OpenGL to render. So here we can see implementations of this background. Let's start with a uh, raster background. It's simple creating of bitmap in information, uh, make a surface from this information, and use stretch the bits to uh, copy data to the display. And for OpenGL background, it's a bit complicated because we have this strange function, that function like uh, structure. And uh, initialize it here. Uh, after that, we can, after init initialization, we can create surface with different properties and create um, render backend target. So we can create a SK surface from OpenGL and nothing specific here too. Okay. Um, so now we can run our first application. Sorry. So now it do nothing, just clear in canvas. Uh, and the last thing in our architecture is layer structure. So um, to have functionality separately from uh, window, platform window and application, uh, we have these layers. These classes helps us to process events and draw data. Oops, yeah, yeah. Process events like uh, process key, mouse and mouse wheel, draw data and uh, owns title. 
Uh, let's look on the first example, the first layer. A creation of application is pretty simple. I'll show you real quick. We include these layers, add layer to the application, and run message loop. Is it called on idle or, uh, yeah only on idle because other events will be managed by a platform window. In the first example, uh, we are going to draw simple shape, first simple shape um, in the static coordinates. So we just clear in canvas with black. Uh, in the slice SK, SK paint structure, uh, this structure uh, is a helper structure that uh, owns color, stroke, font, effect, shaders, and other drawing properties. So we can easily uh, adjust whatever we need. And uh, here we create rectangular in static coordinates and draw it. So even if we resize canvas, it will be just clipped. Second example is a drawing of shapes that depends on window size. A bit complicated, but uh, nothing specific too. Again, initialize uh, pain function, but uh, we get bounce from canvas. It's a teal function. Come on. Yeah. We just uh, get device clip bounce <clears throat> and initialize this rect. So now we can build based on window size. Let's go to the third example. It's uh, drawing random shapes on click. Here we have already some static shapes. I just want to show you how uh, to draw different type, different shapes. For example, uh, we have draw erect functions that can draw ovals and erects around it rects, uh, draw cycle, draw round rect again, and draw arc. We have a lot of already created functions. So most of uh, simple shapes already implemented. And we don't need to use a uh, pass to create our own shapes. This layer is based from, it inherits base random shape layer um, class uh, that allows us to draw and add shapes on the document when we click, under click. Pretty simple function too. We just have a list of uh, shapes where you, yeah. It's vector of shapes. Uh, some architecture for shapes uh, interface and uh, rect, rounded rect cycle, and so on. Oh, let's skip this. So you can see that uh, as soon I add a new shape, FPS. Uh, Oops, FPS uh, it now is around four. It's for raster background. But when we change it to OpenGL, we see that memory is increased, but uh, FPS is 60, stable 60. So I prefer to use OpenGL instead of raster because raster is pretty slow. I know that it's debug, but in prod, uh, we haven't this huge increase. Any questions for now? Sorry, if you have any question, just uh, ask them during this presentation because it's like more talk, not presentation. Okay, I think we can go to the fourth example. And here 
we are trying to render text of a first text because shapes is pretty simple. For text, we need to initialize a typeface. Typeface is a structure for <clears throat> that owns a style and a type font and so on, other properties. So we create typeface, uh, create a font that owns size and skew. Adding that uh, text will be anti aliased. Again, we use escapain fun, escapain structure. Escapain is commonly used structure. It uh, used in most of canvas functions and method. So here we set in color some color. Drawing skia, uh, drawing skia with stroke width, and drawing skia with uh, different font size. So you can see the result. If PS is rendered by Skia2, we have helper five, helper class. FPS. So we again get string, uh, measure text. Uh, it's to get case and width of the text and draw the string. You can see that uh, FPS is okay for OpenGL, but for raster is pretty slow. Let's continue with OpenGL because when we go to the shaders, we will have FPS around one per two seconds. Drawing text, Skia is actually a very fast engine uh, draw library because uh, most of work are pretty straightforward and we need to do it manually. For example, if we want to draw some specific glyphs on with the text, you see that I copied part of uh, simple Chinese. And in this example, uh, we are trying to draw it with uh, different fonts. We have draw is cut text function and uh, that match uh, family name and we draw the strings. With uh, first implementation, we draw with null pointer. So Skia will uh, pick up a system font and you see that uh, my system fonts can't render um, Chinese glyphs. So I know that you got a QI can render them. I said that uh, Skia need to use you got a QI. And you can see that most of uh, glyphs already rendered it. However, we still have some issues with, with some specific glyphs. So to fix this, uh, we can use uh, we can use uh, much font, much family uh, styled character function uh, that will match font family for uh, current char. So we can iterate over chars in the string, uh, check if the current font uh, support this glyph. If uh, font is not supporting, this glyph, uh, this function will return zero. And we can pick up a new font family for the chars. So next example, with this function, you can see that uh, all characters are rendered. So I prefer to use the last way because we can uh, have some specific glyphs for Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, and uh, other languages. Um, so yeah, any questions for now for text rendering? Okay, let's go to the most interesting part. It's uh, loading and drawing bitmaps. Where are you doc? Yeah, here we go. 
we have this dog, Doge. It's uh, located under resources Doge PNG. So in the constructor, in the constructor, we just uh, load image from file. It's a helper function, but uh, Skia can load lots of types like PNG, JPEG, GIF, even HEAF and other types. So we can use SK data, make from file, and just make SK image from this encoded data. So now we get um, a sky image shared pointer and can draw this image. I also process key uh, keys to have the ability move this dodge. Yeah, it's pretty simple function, but with extended functionality. Uh, since we don't need to have lots of filters, we can use uh, included filters in Skia and draw it easily. Uh, next, next example is drawing rotated shapes. So, um, Canvas uh, has lots of function to rotate, distort, uh, scale, skew, and uh, other types of transformations. Uh, so first of all, we need to create canvas checkpoint because if we uh, do not restore uh, canvas properties after we exit from this function, these properties will be used for the all next times. So we can do this manually by using canvas save, canvas restore. But uh, we have this, fun this class that allows us to use Ray easily to use. And here we, uh, in the previous example, we draw image in specific coordinate, point X and, and Y. However, here we translate canvas uh, to the point. Instead of moving image over canvas, we can move canvas to this point. We also can rotate it and scale. So you can see that uh, first rectangle is rotated, second one, the thread is uh, scaled and rotated. It's powerful way to tr translate our uh, transform our canvas uh, since we can transform scale it down to zero one coordinates and work in zero one uh, namespace. The next example is a drawing of transformated bitmaps. So we have again our dodge here. We load in it and use a matrix to transform. So now we can zoom in, zoom out the image, move it and skew. So here we have process mouse wheel. And uh, when we zoom in, we just uh, scale this matrix. Uh, when we have other modifiers, we use press Q. Modifiers is like shift or control pressed when we uh, use our mouse wheel. And uh, process key to translate right down, up and left. Okay, let's go to second example. It's example about blending modes. So Skia has a lot of blending modes. Um, I created here uh, several rectangles, uh, pink, blue, and clear. So we can see when we paint with clear, we just use the ground. Uh, when we pa paint with SRC, we cover the ground over SRC destination. So 
most of them are just calculating summary of multiplication of them or differences. In our examples, we just uh, draw this rects, so nothing specific, but uh, we can blend our images easily uh, with this blending algorithms. I'm not sure about uh, can we implement our own blend algorithm because it should be depends on um, shaders since shaders are not implemented yet. So we think uh, custom blending is not supported yet too. But anyway, we can use uh, already ready gradient shader, for example, it's linear gradient. You can see that uh, uh, we fill our image from blue to green. Code is pretty simple too, since we initialize only points, colors, and uh, to the paint function, we call sh set shader with uh, gradient shader that makes li linear. This code is draw of this beauty shape. But you can see that uh, using shader is pretty easy. We don't need to create uh, lots of stuff as we do for OpenGL or DirectX. We just call it already ready functions. Yeah, we also can use fractal shaders. So you can see that FPS on OpenGL is normal, around 60 points. Oops. But when we swap it to the raster, we have only one frame per second. So we will use OpenGL. We will continue using OpenGL. To create this uh, noise, we also just use specific shader and uh, make the shader with specific parameters. And in the next example, we can see that uh, we have combined two shaders. So to combine uh, two shaders, we need to use blend function. Uh, first parameter is uh, blending mode. Here we use difference. And two second is uh, shaders to blend. So now we will draw radial, and after that, we will make turbulence. As a result, we have combined a shader that works pretty well and pretty easy. We also can do this recursively, but uh, performance for shaders is pretty slow, so we need to be careful with this. OK. Um, Next example is using Gaussian blur. It's commonly used filter for applications. It used for bitmaps and for objects. I use a mouse wheel to increase or decrease um, radius of blurring. And here is code. So again, uh, we just use draw simple text function. Actually, we can use here uh, draw text, draw string to avoid this redundant code. And uh, call mask filter make blur with some specific radius. Yeah. And probably the last example is using color filters. So you, you see the dodge again. And you see this, that here we change colors to pink and here we change it to grayscale. Let's look at some code. Here we have color transformation matrix and a color fil filter that uh, based on this matrix. 
So we can play with different parameters and get different colors to transform. Here's pretty simple examples. Whoops. Hello, stack trace. Okay. We'll debug it later. <laughs> 